Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation. This is soft reason. In this presentation, we will be looking at data design, just the way you are seeing that. Okay, so I want you to stay tuned in this lesson as we continue and we go straight away into the lesson. Proceeding into the lesson, this is a semicycle theater. And in this lesson, I want to be taking you through the process I carry out to be able to model this theater successfully. And I want to start by navigating to the plan view so as to show you my grid set out. So I will click right there and story 0 3D if I click up select the plan view and you can see the grid set out here. Yeah. So what you just need to do is, is this you have to just first of all create this first semicycle grid then from this one you can be able to offset this other ones depending on the spacing you want to provide all right after that is done you just proceed to placing your columns successfully followed by the beam why you're having only columns here is because we are at story zero if i should navigate to story one you will notice that we have beam and slab as well it is at this story one i place all this slab and beam successfully all right and if I navigate to the building set out and then select edit story in the edit story dialog you will notice that I only have two stories and the first story is at height 2000 millimeter while the second one is at height 3500 millimeter Alright, so this is the height of my story set out. I click on OK. Another thing that we need to understand in this modeling is plane definition. If you zoom closely, you will notice I have P1, P2, up to P7. These are plane that I have defined. Okay, for more understanding, if I select this P1, right click right there, click on property. In the P1 property, you will notice that I have plane number, which is P1, which is one you can see there. That's why you're having it as P1. And also I also have point 0.1, point 0.2, and point 0.3. And in the provisions of the point for figures, you will notice that at point 3, I have 0. And where is the location of this point 3 on this P1? The location of this point 3 is here. This place, you can see it there. Okay? And point 1 and 2, the location is this point and this point. And so, point 1 and 2 is 1500 mm prefix with minus the minus and simply means this 1500 mm is going downward is going downward to form a slopey surface downward at 1500 mm just as you can see there okay so after you must have done this settings like this you will notice that everything is quite okay and this setting is applicable to the rest of the plans up to plus seven so if i'll click on update and then i'll close this dialog i'll go straight away to the story plan right click there click on the 3d in the 3d if i should rotate it that way and zoom it closely you will notice that all these members the beam the columns 
this lot in plan 7 up to plan 3 has been moved to plan definition slope but these two hasn't been moved to that slope and so with the setting that i've shown you in the plan definition dialog if i want to move this p1 and as well p2 to the plan definition slope i come straight away to the structural tree we are having plan if i click on the mi minus sign it will minimize the content of the plane. If I click on the plus sign, it will maximize the content of the plane. There you can see the P1 up to P7. And so I want to move in, I want to be moving P1 to the axis. I want to be moving the members, which is the column, the beam as well as the slab that consists within the boundary of that plane. To the axis or to plane definition so for me to do that i'll just have to highlight this p1 right click click on move members to plane definition once i click on that a warning will show in this warning it's asking you a question all members content or at the edge of the plane definitions will be adjust it to the plane do you want to continue you say yes once you click on yes all the members content within the boundary of the plane definitions i'll be moved to the axis successfully the same thing will be applicable to p2 if i select right there right click click on move member to plane definition and yes you can see the members have moved successfully to axis and so this has explained very well about plane definition. I want us to look at the roofing aspect of this model. Now in the roofing aspect of this model, for instance, I want to fix a trusses here from this point to this point. What I will need to do is I will select thrust here, steel thrust here, one that is activated. I will click on this point. Now you notice it's not snapping. The reason is because the grid setout is not at this story level. That is why that is why it's not actually snapping. So what you need to do is you come straight away to story to double click right there to move the grid upward just like this. Then pick the thrust again. When that is picked successfully, you can see it has now snapping the point. Okay, the top of the columns with drop. Click right there as your first point and pick the end point as your second point. When you pick that successfully, a dialog will come up. Trust generator dialog. You will not be able to select any type of trust you want to use. For instance, I select this one. This trust now, you can be able to change the members. You click on the members, you can see the top cut, the bottom cut, diagonal, the vertical, and this trust we are using consists of angle section double angle section back to back you can see in the image there so you just click on okay to insert that so once that is set successfully you can be select this rotate this this way you can see the height difference between this one and this you may want to be bringing this to this same height what you need to do is get this one you just inserted select it right click click on property it will take you back to the trial generator provisions property change the artist height to one meter just like that click on okay you can see the the apex height has reduced to one meter which is almost the same thing with the existing one so this is how you place trusses successfully the same thing applicable to this place you can pick the trusses actually pick the trusses there just like that pick the first point and pick the second point to insert that successfully by clicking okay just like that the, select the command the same thing you will do to add these trusses in all these provisions. All right. So after that is done successfully, you will notice that the modeling is still in progress. And this is how I managed to get to this extent in this modeling.
I believe that you have learned one or two things. I want to bring the presentation to a stop now. Like the lesson and stay tuned for more advanced lessons. Bye for now.